welcome My sweetest friend And everyone I know Goes away in the end And you could have it all My empire of dirt I will let you down I will make you hurt Hello friends, how's it going? This is David Potts with Song Notes and I'm coming at you today to teach you to pick up that guitar and play Hurt. So this will be for the Johnny Cash version of the song. Uh, it was written by Nine Inch Nails and Trent Reznor originally, but Cash's version is obviously just, uh, it's epic, right? So I'm going to teach it to you now. You don't need much to play it and let's dive right on in and I'll show it to you starting right now, okay? So, so for this intro section, you're going to need three chords. You'll need an A minor, a C, and a D. Okay, now these are all pretty fundamental chords you'll need to know in your guitar playing journey. But uh, if you're learning them for the first time, basically the A minor and the C are very similar. So I recommend you learn them at the same time here. So they're playing the thinnest five strings only. You're going to have an open A string, fifth string, for the A minor. And then second fret on the D string, second fret on the G string, first fret on the B string, and then an open E string. Okay? So open, second, second, first, open. Now for the C, what you're doing, from that A minor, just pick up your ring finger and put it down on the third fret of the A string. That's the fifth string. So then you have third, second, open, first, open. All right, so again, notice how those two fingers there are not moving your index and your middle, okay? Those are sort of staying consistent between both chords, which makes this change a really nice one to do, right? So. This is what you need first, and then third is the D chord. Now D is the thinnest four strings. That's open, second, third, second. Okay, so pretty straightforward there. D is a great chord, um, so you'll need those chords. But now that you have them, let's move on and see how you use them in this intro. Okay, so here's what the intro looks like, and you know, as you can see, I have the chords you need, and I have the counting. Right? There's two measures here, four counts in each measure. So if we were to count it once through, it would sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one. All right, so to play that yourself, what you're gonna do is first put your hand in the A minor position and then you're gonna pluck the fifth string, the fourth string, and then the rest of the A minor. Okay, so those are the first three sort of strums you're going to do. Alright, so again, your left hand is staying firm in that A minor position. All you're doing is just with your picking hand, okay? Now for the C, same exact deal. With your picking hand, you're playing the same exact strings and the same exact timing, right? you got to switch to that C chord in your left hand, of course, but... And then the D will be fourth string, third string, and then second and first string together. Okay? So again, take it as slow as you need to. If you're uh, having trouble or making mistakes, slow it down even more, okay? Once you kind of got it, crank up the speed a little bit, but not fast enough where you're making mistakes. That's how you're gonna get where you need to go. This isn't really a fast song, but it, you know, there is some precision there with hitting the right notes, okay? So let me play it again once or twice to make sure you got it. One and two and three and four and one and two Now, to take it up a little bit in difficulty, what you can do if you like is add these notes at the very end of the C and at the very end of the D. And what they are are you're sort of repeating uh, the bass note of the chord, at least for the C you are. So, okay, that last note, I'm just going back to it. Okay, and then I go to the D. Now, on the D, he's going to, if you listen on the album, it sounds like he's going down to this third string, okay? So, second fret on the G string, so. But these aren't notes you're playing super loud. You're just kind of, you kind of hear them as a little filler note. So, in full, it would sound like this. Right, nice and subtle. 
And the trick I'll show you here is the C. You might notice that it's hard to transition from the C to the D, right? With so, much, so little time if you play that note. But the key is when you play the C, you can play the first note of the D before your hands are even there. Then you have, you have like time to do it. So check this out. Okay, again. So what I was doing there was I was sort of going to the D late, but I was getting my fingers there in time. Because remember, the first note of the D is an open string. You don't need your fingers anywhere. The second note is this second fret of the G string. And then I'm getting my index and or I'm getting my middle and my ring there just in time. Okay, so I'm just letting you know that because lots of times when you play guitar, you can actually when you're switching chords, you can actually get the fingers that need to be there first there, and then sort of get the other fingers there, sort of uh, a little bit behind schedule, but they're actually gonna be where they need to be when they need to be there, okay? That's a little trick. A um, Few more intermediate things if you want here. You could do a D sus two for the D. It sounds like this. It sounds like that's what's happening on the album sometimes. time. All you do there is just keep your high E string open. And then another way you can do it is like this. Where I'm sort of sliding the C shape up. But that's optional too. All right, so those are a few little things, but all in all, that should give you what you need to play that intro, okay? So next, let's look at the, uh, the chorus here. Okay, so for the chorus, these are what the chords look like. So basically, you have these two progressions. They're very similar. Basically, you go from G to A minor to F to C, and then you do G to A minor to F to G, okay? And each of those progressions, you're gonna repeat, so you play them twice each, okay? And I'll, I'll play through this and everything, but I just wanna give you the bird's eye view. Now. Um, let's look at the chords you're going to need, how to play them. Okay, new chords here. One is a G chord. So G chord, I'm going to recommend you play it like this if you can. Ring finger on the third fret of the sixth string. And middle finger on the second fret of the A string. Open, 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 and then uh, pinky on the high E string, third fret. So, okay, that's a G chord. You could play it like this, or like this, or like this. Lots of ways to play this chord, but the reason I recommend you do it here is you're going to need your pinky on this high E string for something I'm going to show you in a little bit, okay? Now an A minor, you already know, good, 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 and an F. F is a tough chord if you never learned it before, but don't let it scare you away because I'm going to show you some ways to cheat your way around it here. Now a full F is first, third, third, second, first, first. And what you need to do if you want to play the full complete six string F is bar the first string so that your first string is literally like pressing into the, all the notes here, but then you use your other fingers, your ring, pinky, and middle, to play the middle four strings. However, uh, what you can do if you're having trouble is you could play just the highest four strings, third, second, first, first, or you could do the middle four strings, third, third, second, first, okay? Um, so check that out. I have a video actually on some easy ways to play F if you're having trouble with it. But then you just need a C, which you already know here. So for playing these chords in sequence, we're gonna do all down strums. So eight down strums per chord, and we're gonna accent every other down strum. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and down, 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 down. All right, so it would sound like this. So we're gonna start on a G. What have I become F? My sweetest friend Everyone I know Goes away In the end Then we go to the second section here You can have it all Down, 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 down My empire Dirt. I will let you down. I will make you hurt. Then you sort of end the chorus by going right into the 
intro and verse little riff there again, okay? So that's all you need for it. The cool thing though I wanna show you here is this opportunity, the second half of the chorus, to instead of doing the regular chord shapes, you can do um, versions where you keep your pinky on the high E string for all the chords, okay? So that would mean your G is playing like this, which I already showed you, okay? For the A minor, you're just gonna play a normal A minor, but keep your pinky there. So it's really like an A minor seven. Okay, so open, second, second, first, third. Okay, and then for the F, this is like an F add nine, third, second, first, third, on the highest four strings only, okay? It's a nice, easier way to play the F. Okay, so what that would sound like for the second half is, you can have it all, my empire. And I will let you down And I will make you hurt All right? Great song. Um, I really hope this lesson helped you get going with it. Again, two parts are both pretty approachable. The F chord can be tough for you, but don't, you know, uh, don't give up if it's... If it's uh, tricking you out. There's ways to get around it. Yep, so all together, I hope that was helpful. That's all you'll need to play this song. Uh, it's a, obviously a great song, and I hope that you can pick up your guitar and play it, even if it's just the intro. I think there's a lot of fun just to be had with that. But as always, you can check out my website, playsongnotes.com, where you can find my write-up of all, everything I just showed you, right? The tabs, the notes, the chords, sort of instructional tips. It's all there. It's waiting for you. You can print it out. And uh, I have tons of other lessons too. Lots of Johnny Cash too. He's one of my favorites. But thank you very much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you like this. And if you love this, throw a buck in the tip jar on my website. It helps support my channel on YouTube and this overall project I'm doing where I teach you to play the songs I love. But thank you very much for watching. This has been David Potts with Song Notes. And uh, I like to say, pick up your guitar and play. Bye-bye.